the halogen molecule <coughs> breaks and forms HX, which is either HCl or HBr or HI, and you get a chain reaction. And you form the HX, and let's see whether he chose one that is really endothermic. Because when he makes that mixture and he finishes making it, I'm going to turn that blue laser on this side of the room on. It will shine all the way across into the mixture, initiate the reaction by breaking some hydrogen hydrogen bonds in the molecules. And let me just show you this laser beam thing to see what it looks like. Okay. Let's see. He stops it over here and he doesn't want it to blow up before he gets a chance to get away from it. So all the way from here to here, I'm going to do something over here and Ronnie's going to be standing over there and see the reaction occurs. And then we'll see whether, I'll tell you what it is you put in there relative to the answer to your head with. Tell me when you're ready, Ronnie. I think it's it. we can see it. He's displacing water by bubbling in molecular hydrogen and a molecular halide. Now, what I'm doing is putting my hand in front of the laser beam. That's the only thing stopping the beam from going over there. This is extremely painful, I should say. <laughs> but what would I not do for Chem 1A? <laughs> and we're going to count to three, and when I say three, I'm going to take my hand out of the way. And Lonnie, are you sufficiently uh, situated far away from that, that, just in case you put the right gas in there, if something happens, you won't get... Oh, you can't hear what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> okay, one, two... That was glory. Thank you.